what are the factors that made for the depletion of the forests in our country does it the blame to be put on the colonial rule of the britishers or is it the mistakes which are made by the indians what are the actual reasons let us try to find out first of all what do we get from the forest in our indian forest we have the enormous wildlife the wood the fuel the fodder the manure the medicines we have many items which are coming from the forest so as we all have discussed that many items are available in the indian forest the indian people have the habit of going and collecting from the forest so the wildlife is also used their skin is used their bones are used in various medicines and also their teeth are sold in asian markets so that all have made the people to approach towards the forest and start to clear the forest kill the animals poaching hunting all these have triggered to do this one and not only this the fuel what you get from the fodder then wood is used for making the railway track compartments sleeper coaches ships and also for the uh, daily wood the coal wood whatever we need for them for cooking and all the manure the natural manure what they get the medicines from some of the medicinal plants all these have made the forest to be the hub or a economy where you can go and approach that one and you get it in large number so once everybody knows that there is some possibility of getting some income from the forest automatically people would run for that income that is one of the basic reason why we have depletion of the forest in our country second basic reason is because of the colonial rule for making the railway compartments we need large amount of wood for that wood the forests have been cleared daily basis to get the large amount of wood to build the railway sleepers coaches mining has been done without any discrimination where the mining should not be done there the mining has been started and done explicitly extensively without looking into the commercial lands or the crop lands commercial agriculture plantation concept has been brought into the indian agriculture prior to this we don't have any plantation concepts the britishers with their motos to fulfill their requirements they have bifurcated and brought the commercial agriculture which has killed the biodiversity nature of our indian land and then from 1951 to 1980 26200 square kilometers of land has been brought extra into agricultural lands but in opposite to this we have the tribals using their regular pat practice of agriculture the slash and the burn agriculture where they have cleared more than this indian government have made several efforts and brought more than 26000 hectares of land under cultivation whereas 26200 square kilometers of land in the contrary to this the tribals have deforested the forest more than this because of their regular habit of practicing agriculture through slash and burn agriculture or the jumping agriculture or shifting agriculture and moving on to understand some of the other reasons why we got the deforestation of the forest is so high on a very large scale the colonial plantations one of the major reasons then the large scale projects for example the narmada sagar project in order to build the narmada sagar project the project has waived or cleared off nearly 5000 square kilometers of the forest land which is really a very astonishing fact today nowadays because of the ideology of modernization urbanization the large forest lands are been cleared and given to the mnc companies to establish their factories or to build a large dams which are actually at the cost of the forest lands the tribal community peoples are struggling for their rights even today even when the narmada sagar project was built many andal movements were been raised the tribals have written a letter to the digvijay singh the then cm of madhya pradesh asking and questioning what would they do if their lands were taken away for building a project and why should they only be the people of sacrificers for the development of the nation and then we also have a special plant called himalayan yew which is actually from the bark we collect the medicine of the very rare medicine which is found to treat cancer the anti cancer drug 
which is found from the Himalayan U, this is located in the states of Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. But because of the drastic changes of the climatic conditions and deforestation, thousands of the U trees are becoming dry and today it is in the endangered list. The anti-cancer drug is not grown in India no more now. It is finding very difficult to find this plant in Himachal or in the Arunachal Pradesh region. Some of the other reasons why we have heavy deforestation is human habitation, habitat. Human people go to a particular place, clear that land and start doing living. Once the population goes on increasing, people would go on going into the forest lands. They clear the forest lands and go on occupying them. That is one of the major reasons why we have large scale deforestation. Then hunting of the animals, killing of the animals, passion for hunting. In some of the families, we have a culture or a custom that how many lions did you kill? How many tigers did you kill? They maintain a brand list of that. Earlier, the kings used to have a habit of killing 400 lions, 400 tigers. These all have endangered the tigers and the lions in the Indian land. Poaching, poaching, catching the animals and selling them abroad, killing the animals, taking the teeth, bones, skin and selling it in the abroad market, Asia market. These all are some of the activities which are endangering. Overpopulation in India, the land of second most populated country in the world, which automatically reveals for us that we have huge population. When we have huge population, we automatically consume more amounts of any products. It may be food, it may be land, it may be nature products. So that overpopulation affects environmental pollution. When you have overpopulation, automatically pollution also will be more. We are creating more amount of environmental pollution and that too, we are taking away the forest lands and we are clearing the forest lands. So like this, the major reasons for having negative factors starting from the wildlife, what are the positive points that we get from the forest because of the colonization, because of the human habits, because of the attitudes of the people, because of the practices of the tribal people, because of the modernization of the economy, so-called urban development, so-called multipurpose projects. All these reasons are some of the factors which have affected the deforestation on a very large scale in India. If you like this video, Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.